few years ago I decided to give everything up, take take the plunge and just go into the unknown and buy a narrowboat and just travel around the country and see what happens. I had no plans, I had no idea what I was doing, I just got the boat, gave up work, sold everything and then just set, set sail. So in the end I started to film it and to put it on YouTube and it wasn't very successful so join me. Um, drive a scuttle well where you put your feet. Yeah. This is my daughter's new car. It's like a Fiat 500X. It's nice, actually. It's very, very nice. Oh, I better close that down. Four new tyres, full service cam belt. Before she took it, I insisted. Brand new tyres, all new pads all round. Very, very happy with this. Bless her. Good family car. Right, it's just done nice. Like a reinforced section here. Those are different. Oh, there's a bastard. Go away, I think. Wow, look at that. Woohoo! Bridgewater Canal license. Oh, oh look what your license what got to book in. You're only allowed a week on here, you know. You are. You got to, to book in, you're only allowed a week Thanks on here. Grow up. This is the wonderful and gorgeous Bridgewater Canal. And every, every boater I talk to, they say, Oh, you've been on the Bridgewater, it's beautiful. And I say, I have been on the Bridgewater, and it is beautiful, you are correct. Right in the thermals there. I remember when I was on the ooze, you see thousands of rooks and crows, oh, cawing in the mornings. Beautiful to see them. Peter Marine dealers there, look. Ooh, he's got a thermostat, I wonder. No, I think I've asked him before. Got water here as well somewhere. Bought the rights. Uh, puppets. puppets. Beautiful little alleyway down there. It's a gorgeous oh, place. Parked here last time. Yeah, Somebody might say, Oh, I know what that is. Trying to get this boat, this engine 
this engine turning over, but it's just clicking, and everyone's going to say, oh, it's seized. And now we've, we've turned the engine over by and manually. That one's full of water. This engine apparently was running, um, but it's going to be it's a gorgeous looking bow. I've filmed the outside, not inside. <laughs> it's a lot of work now, but I've tried to put power straight to the starter motor. Uh, need to look at that. No one's going to nick it, are they? This boat, to be honest. <laughs> they can't. can't get any work. <laughs> they could tow it. They could tow it away. Yeah, I suppose. Missing that fishing rod. <laughs> well, no, I, I like the boat. I like the look of it. You know, yeah. outside of it. It will be good once it's done. Yeah. It's time to paint. It's time to paint the old gunwalls. Gun walls, whatever you call them. Uh, it's quite mild. It's windy. Uh, Fairly cold. Just want, to, just want to make it look tidier, you know. I paint these sides every year. I know you're going to say, "Oh, I'd, I'd um, put undercoat on that, three or four coats, sand it in between, and then I put another top coat on, then three coats." And no, no, I just sand it and paint it, and that's it. Oh, I'm not watching this channel anymore. I know you're not, but anyway, there you are. Right, I've sanded it and I've put some rust treatment on it down there. And the next, next job is to paint it, mask it, quick coat of paint, boom, job done. I don't, I can't watch this channel. I don't believe he's not put any undercoat on it. I, I, I'm turning it off right now. I had just enough paint, I uh, just ran out right at the very end. Uh, so I had to water the paint down a little bit just to get enough paint to go to the end, you know, so it's a slightly lighter than the rest of the boat, uh, whatever in it. Oh, I don't, I, I can't believe it. I just... <laughs> and this is the lovely limb. Beautiful little place. And you got the boy you got the boys here, narrow about life unlocked. I did more here, but the signal was rubbish. But the signal's great just here, and amazing, isn't it? Lovely little place, look. There's Sainsbury's Ripith. Nice walks down there. Arr, arr, lovely. When last time I came here, I was with... Last time I came, I was with my son Bradley. We were from Berlin. Um, we had a meal in this pub last time I was here. Have you been here before? Yeah. Oh, back here again? Yeah, I am. Oh, it's boring. I've seen it before and you're all the vlogs I know. Sorry. History of Lim. Settlement in Lim dates back to Anglo-Saxon times when the village is listed in the Doomsday Book in 1086 as Lime. At that time, Lim was a small agricultural community with no more than a dozen residents. Farming methods in those days meant each farm required a very large area. The name Lim is thought to have thought to have evolved from Chilim. An ancient reference to the noise of the stream which flowed through the village. Another possibility is that the derivative of the Anglo Saxon word lin, meaning border, prior to the recognition of counties, that's in four lim, lay on the Cheshire and Lancashire border. Ah, oh, lovely lim. You have wooed me, lim. You have wooed me. 
One of the things which is known about Lim Cross is that it was restored in Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee in 1897. This photograph was taken shortly after the Second World War. Compare the appearance of the cross with its appearance in the Rush Bearing Festival pointing, painting. Sorry. Oh, I can't read you, can't I? No. I'm trying my best though, don't I? Not really. Oh, okay. Industrial Revolution. Quaint, isn't it? It's a busy place. It's quaint. Oh, dinosaur footprint, Rickers. What's this? Dinosaur footprint. Um, where? I can't see it. I don't think you can see it either. See under there. Uh, on the sandstone slab is a raised fossil footprint. Ocarotherum cupai, an early type of dinosaur. Is it there? I can't, can't see it, can you? Never mind. He's watching me. Oh, it's throwing it down again. Right. I know Lim's only a little place but it's packed with juicy things, pleasing to the eye, mostly. Look at that monstrosity just sat there, look. What are they thinking of building that? Do you know what I mean? It's horrible, isn't it? Jeez. Right, I think that's the end, really. I'm going to walk back. I'm going to walk back down to, down to Sainsbury's, I think. Look at the properties here, look. Um, 300 grand to buy that nice little house. 380 for that nice one there. Ooh, what's that? 1.295 million. I think I'd rather get an older one, you know, to be honest. These new houses nowadays just don't. They look glamorous, but they got so many teething problems. I don't think you get quality nowadays that you do in the old houses, you know. That's quite pretty. My sister bought a new house. Oh, she's having problems with it. Sinking, cracking and... 300 grand. Nice little bungalow. Oh, perfect, isn't it? Nice little driveway. Put all your bikes down there. Van there. Van there. Car there. Bikes at the back. Little garage. Boom. As well as that uh, amazing dinosaur footprint and the Sainsbury's, they've got this lovely little sunken garden down here. Really is a very pleasant location. Mm, nice little garden. Look at this. That's great in the summertime. Going down there on your inner tube. Mother's Day today, isn't it? My mother's my mother died many years ago. She was 61, 62. Died of cancer. Bless her. God rest her soul. Poor old girl, you know. The Diamond Jubilee, Her Majesty's Queen Elizabeth, 2nd, 1952, 2012. Built by Lim School children. Mm, there's your stocks, look. Hey, hey, asshole, you're in there, rippers. Can you imagine in the old days, you get punishment, right? Put them in stocks. You start causing trouble, you're in there. Everybody knew you're a troublemaker. Great idea, wasn't it? Everybody knew. 
your trouble. My paint's dried now. <laughs> Surprisingly, different colour though, isn't it? A bit lighter. Which of course it's absolutely throwing it down, you know? Of course it would. Wonderful weather. It's been so wet this year, hasn't it? You know, living on water, you expect it, don't you? It needs another coat, really, doesn't it? Look at how that rolls along there, look. Some, some stupid person has parked so close to this bank you can't get around the, you can't get around to park up. You have to go onto the grass almost, go onto the grass and into the canal just to get around this car that's parked there. He's trying to get their attention now. So, look at that. It's not him. He's waiting for the person in front who's parked up. Left no space. Some people, oh, oh God, drive you mad, don't they? Part with that dude carrying attention. these things I do, I do like to highlight this is this is the, these are the dilemmas of everyday life on the canal you know my van's down there I can't get out he can't get in well tra everyone's trapped because of this car not this car here not that car there but the car in front of him who's parked with no gap absolutely crazy anyway my report parking report for the day I thought I'd just time-lapse the uh, fire as it burns down this is like an hour and a half or something you know um, while I'm waiting to look at that Perkins engine I think his starter motor seized up I'm not sure I put a battery across it it's just clicking so the next stage on this Perkins engine is to get the starter motor out and if it is broken then I've got to take the starter motor out the other engine and use that as a spare and try that so and then try and it's not been ran for a couple of years that, that that boat so hopefully I get it going for him you know I'm just about to leave for work looking flat tire no oh nothing would get repaired now isn't it mm. on my van on my van the spare wheel is under here I've done bolt this I put a strap on that side it's just to drop down. It's, it's a it's a mission just to get the spare wheel out in itself. <laughs> and these bolts, look at how greasy this one, because these, these are a nightmare to get out. But wheels off. Spare's coming down. We're going to get going at some point. I've just come here today to have a look at get this engine fired up. This one is this engine is. I'm going to put dipstick out full of water see the water coming out there look that's full of water that engine beautiful Perkins engine ruined this one turns over um, throttle bodies are working and all that I just need to check for fuel and power <laughs> oh god what a water well, I'm still excited about taking it on, you know, I want to get this engine fired up today, it'd be nice. Just felt the bloke out, you know, bless him. Try and find a decent battery first. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a mess, to be honest, but, you know, let's crack on. This starter motor is just clicking, even though I know the battery's, battery's good. The other starter motor is clicking as well. I've got two bolts out, one one in there, this one here. It's got a split pin through it. Oh, and it's behind this. I just want to pull it back a bit to see if it's spinning. So I can put it back in knowing it's when I lube it a little bit so we know it's alright. This has turned into a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Oh dear. 
bit of a nightmare. I found out that it's got some more power source there, but the power source has been cut behind there for some reason. All that there is sort of tidied it up. Um, I'll get to try and get his solar working so he can charge his batteries. It's just an absolute total disaster. There we are, after much deliberation and faffing around, the starter, throw out gear, I can see it's stuck forward. See it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't, it's all right. But the spring, the spring's gone, I think. I have had a look online and this starter motor's got no return spring on it, on the throw out gear. So we'll take all the wires off and hopefully the spare engine, the starter motor's good. So he's got a spare engine, which is, I think it's probably seized. Head gasket's gone. I feel hoping I can just take that one out, put this one in, but it's not easy, these. Weigh about 30 kilos, these things. I've got to take all these bits and bobs off, lot. <sighs> Starter's out, and there's a spring missing from here. Return spring. This is just is seized in position. But it's still only clicking when you try and turn it. That should come forward easier than that. Oh dear. When I turn, put some power through it. Doing nothing. Damn. I hope I'm doing this right. It should be solenoid to there, yeah. Which feeds this. That goes to there, selling all the cross from there to there. Oh, hold up. This is a better start. This is what it should look like. It should throw out like that quite easily. This one is just completely seized. I don't know how the guy ran this engine. It's impossible. When he bought the boat, so this engine started. How could it start with a duff, duff starter motor? That's how it should be. Throw out, throw back. I'm going to lube that. I'm going to test it now. See if it works. Right, I'm back here again. Got your new starter battery on loosely. I put your starter back in. The starter turns the engine now. I'm just working out the wiring for the dash. Uh, so the engine's turning over on this battery now. Now I've to swap motors, start starter motors. I've lubed that motor, that's a little bit stiff. So that's 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 sort so far. We're turning the engine now, which is a good thing. Next thing's going to be diesel and then see if you've got any uh, fuel in it. Sorry, fuel, fuel filter. Whatever, you know what I mean? Right, let's give it a go. Try this is this is how far we've got now, Ed. We've got some we've got some dash, we've got some dials. <laughs> Turning over. Next we've got to find out whether you've got diesel coming through. Right, I've got a solar. I've got a solar charger, trickle charging that battery, so it's always being charged, you know, hopefully. Um, next step, that was 41 quid, that's that little solar panel. But it's direct, it's, it's going directly straight to your battery, so that should keep it topped up. Next thing is to get it fired up. Start. Right, Ed, I've got some hydraulic fluid there. It's a two man job, and it's pour it in here. And then when two people need to bleed the system, that's the engine fired up. It's my sort of job done, but I want to see if it goes into gear or not. Uh, forward, reverse. Let's try that.
very stiff but it goes into gear. You hear that? That's in gear now. And here you go. That's a sweet engine that is. Lovely engine. You've got power to the gearbox Ed. So you've definitely got movement. It's just doing the steering now. You can see it down there, Red, but I've got your steering going now. I've purged it of all. Can you see it down there? Wait a minute. See it moving. So your steering's working, the boat's moving, so I've done my bit now, buddy. That's it. I've done my bit. There we are, steering's working. It's inside here, look, you have to keep purging the air out of it left to right in the end I spent about two or three days on it I'm just running the engine now to see if it's getting hot and it's I think it's raw water cooled so it's cooled by the canal water and it comes out the, the exhaust port um, I'm not sure if this is a reservoir that, that holds the water while it's been pumped in and then pumped out I'm not sure about these engines you know but I got it going for him Really chuffed that he's on the move now, so it's helped to follow boat out, you know. Should be 14. Should be 14, it's only 15 minutes past 10. Motor. Just noticed that you've got a water leak here. Look, that's what the dripping sound is. You're losing coolant. Losing coolant. Something's come off here. It needs a cap on it. It's only a little drip. I was going to set your bilge pump, pump up for you, but it's a weird one. It's not a pump you just throw in there. I need pipes for it and everything, you know, just to clear it out. It's this water's getting hot uh, into the tank. That's hot water tank. It's just leaking from this joint here. It needs a just needs a um, just needs a blocking off cap there to go on the end. You get to B and Q. I've done now. I've got to move. Uh, I've got to be up. Um, I've got to be up uh, Rebel Link by the seventh of April. So I've got forty odd miles to do on the canal. So it's going to take me weeks. So this is my this is me done on this boat now for now anyway. So it's starting running steering. That's me done. Fluffy thumbs up.